to another online business realm video. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and click the subscribe button to stay up to date with everything we have going on here at the channel. So for today's video, we're going to start a series where we are showing you how to do technical analysis on cryptocurrencies. Now, this technical analysis will not only work for cryptocurrency, but also will work for stocks and investments. So maybe you've seen some charts on Twitter or just on videos or on the internet that not only do they have the chart itself, but they have like maybe little flags on them or symbols or lines that kind of show, you know, maybe different patterns or something like that. So look, I just made a line there or maybe, you know, it's some kind of flag. So it uh, goes from here to here and it creates some kind of shape. Now, we're not going to be getting into what these shapes mean and technical analysis. I just drew these two lines. They mean absolutely nothing. But to understand technical analysis and really get into how people are able to make predictions based on movements of cryptocurrency, first you have to understand how to read a chart. So if you haven't watched our video on how to read a candlestick chart, then that is the most fundamental basic thing you need to do. But here, I've created an account here on coinagey.com. They have a free trial for a month. After that, it's only like $18 a year to use it. This also serves as a an exchange, so you can make trades on here too, but I'm not, I don't really do that. I pretty much exclusively use Binance and KuCoin right now and a little bit of Yobits. But I want to show you guys this and how you can kind of set up this chart. Now, we're not going to be drawing lines and doing the technical analysis today. We will save that for a later video. But on the left side of this page here, you can see it says markets, and these are all the different exchanges. So Binance is the very first one. You can tell it has the logo over here, but you can use any different ones. YoBits is down here at the bottom. Obviously, it starts with Y, so you could click on that. And then in this right column, are all the coins. So I know Hacken is a coin that I have owned that is on this exchange, and here it is, HAC. So I could click that, and now, as you can see, it displays the Yobit logo over here, so you know that's what you're working with. So let's go back to Binance. So right now, we're going to be looking at Nano, and we're going to be doing a lot of analysis on the chart, but I'm just going to show you this top bar up here, what each of these icons do. Now, these on the left side here, these are the drawing tools. So we're not doing drawing today. I'll just reiterate that. So to kind of look at this chart, what we can do here is you can separate it by any time limit. So we're going to set it on one hour, and that's what we're going to be looking at. So as you can see, it's kind of been a little roller coaster lately, but... Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. So you can work with the change interval, which is basically the same thing that, you know, in minutes. So we have it set on one hour. So the change interval is 60 minutes. You can uh, click here and you can change the layout of the chart. So you can change it to bars. You can change it to candles. You can change it to hollow candles. You can change it to this kind of chart, which I don't know how to pronounce, so I'm not going to try. You can change it to a line, and you can change it to an area. So between these six different types of charts, uh, between these other five, these are pretty much everything you're going to see on the web when you're looking for cryptocurrency. So it's good to familiarize yourself with each one of these different types. So here we can go to the settings. We can change the colors. We can make it any color we want. We can make it yellow. If you have a favorite team, maybe the Pittsburgh Steelers, you can make it yellow and black. Make the borders yellow and black as well. And now we can't even see it. But, you know, you can change these to anything they want. Of course, you can always click default, and it'll go back to normal. You can also change the kind of chart right here. You can go here to scales, and you can change how big each of the individual candles are. You can change the background color. You can change it to something crazy if you want. Uh, white 
works for me. I like white better than black, honestly. Change the color of the grid lines, etc. You can change the time zone if you want. Don't know why you'd really want to do that, considering cryptocurrency is traded 24 hours a day. But anyways, so that is what you do here with the default settings. Now, these are different indicators. These are a list of different types of indicators that will show different types of movement on a chart. So let, like, let's say we click volume. Now, all of a sudden, you can see this volume is highlighted down here. So we're not going to get too much into that. We'll probably go over a lot of these individually on a later video. So to get rid of them, they each have little X boxes. So you would just click delete here, and you would click these Xs and then the background would disappear. Like if you wanted this to be what you went to every time that had the Bitcoin kill zones in it, then you would just save indicator template as. And next time, all you'd have to do is go back to your template and it'd be ready to roll. So here you can compare different coins. You would type in the exchange and then you could add the symbol from that exchange and it would overlay that on this chart. So we could just click Binance. And we could just choose one of these coins. So right now we're looking at Nano. Let's go to Walt Chain because that will show us. I know that is about the same price. So now it will overlay that chart here. So as you can see, we can zoom out. And you can, you can see how Walt and Chain compares to Nano. So that's how you use the comparison tool. Here, this is blockchain data, so you can look at all kinds of different uh, variations of the blockchain for basically every coin that is on the exchange you're at. So you can do that. You can also set alerts for when you want it to be at a certain price. You can create buy orders and sell orders for the coin if you're using this as an exchange, which I'm not. You can go into full screen mode, which is kind of cool. So we'll go back out of it. You can go to here and take a snapshot of the chart. You can load a chart layout. You can save a chart layout, and you can auto-save. So that is how you use all of the menu items at the top of the toolbar here. It's pretty simple. And now, once you understand how to pull up the different charts and different comparisons, now we can start getting into technical analysis. And I can start showing you how to create different kinds of shapes on here with different charts that could indicate price movement. So I hope this video has been helpful. Coinigy is a good site to for beginners to learn how to do chart analysis. And worst case scenario, you get some information for stocks if you don't really want to get into cryptocurrency because all of these charts work basically the same way. So please drop us a comment if you have any questions, if there's certain types of technical analysis you want us to do. I'd love to do that for you. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with everything we're doing. And until next time, get out there and make some money.